What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Got some massage, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to book a personal, the information is in the description box below. Love you guys so much. Okay, so I received a channeling, and it's a good one. It's a good one. Just saying. I hope everybody's doing well. I know I had some dark ones earlier, but um, some dark ones. Um, but um, this one's really good. Just saying. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, welcome my new subscribers, by the way, and my A1 Day ones. Um, all the sharing of the con my content on social media and word of mouth uh, spreading is really, really helping. I'm seeing a lot of growth in the um, view count. So thanks so much for all the shares, the word of mouth, and the social media shares. Thanks so much. Okay, so we're going to dive into it, baby. Just saying. Okay, so the channel message I received was... Um, uh, someone once made fun of you and someone is currently making fun of you, um, but they secretly want to be you, is what I heard. So someone once made fun of you and some and someone still is making fun of you. So they're bullying you behind the scenes or maybe to your face for some. Um, I feel for a lot of you guys it's behind the scenes. It's behind the scenes. Okay, it's confirmation. It's behind the scenes. It's behind the scenes. So they're not doing it to your face. They're not. They're probably. Uh, if you do deal with them in the three D, it's oh hey, how are you? Blah 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 blah. Nicey nice to your face, but behind the scenes, making fun of your ass. Um, for some, they have made fun of you in the past. For some, they're they're making fun of you now. So that's for anybody who doesn't know. That's just a coping mechanism skill. That's a coping mechanism skill for them. Um. Because I heard they secretly want to be you. They secretly want to be you, but yet they're making fun of your ass. Behind either they did or they are now. But them making fun of your ass is just a cope, negative coping, coping mechanism skill because they secretly want to be you. And that's just the truth. So just keep being your awesome freaking self, whoever you are, if this applies to you, okay? And if you claim this message, put in the comment section, claim, claim, I claim it. Hashtag I claim it. Okay, because um, we are raising the vibration in this biatch. Just saying, just saying. I know I get some dark messages in here. I know I do. The one about the shocking deaths coming up, about the stolen inheritance. But I feel for a lot of you guys, it's your stolen inheritance. Um, and it's negative karma coming to those people. So I still pull in the dark um, messages. But it doesn't matter. We're still raising the vibration up in this biatch. So if you claim it, you can hashtag I claim it. Just saying, just saying, okay? Because they secretly want to be you, whoever this is. They secretly want to be you. So they're jealous of you is what they are. They're hashtag jelly in their jammies. They're hashtag jelly in their jammies, but they don't want to admit it to themselves or to other people. And most certainly not to you. God forbid to you. Just saying, just saying. Happiness, number seven, can be very significant number in one's life. Number seven, I just heard take it. Happiness. They see you were happy. They did not want you to be happy. They thought they were creating a negative tower moment for you, but it ended up being great for you. Oh, my God. Wow. Well, we're getting it. All the T's going out, baby. Okay, so I heard they um, they see you happy. They see you happy and they didn't want you to be happy. Um, whoever this is for, if this is for you, um, they created some kind of negative tower moment for you in the past. Now, whatever that was and however that resonates and applies, the negative tower moments are different for different folks and however that resonates for you in your past. And whoever this is in your life, you have to plug them in in your own life, how they resonate. Whoever it, For some, I feel it could be one person. For some, it could be two or two plus people. But... They created a negative tower moment for you in the past, hoping you would be down on your, you know, down on your luck, sad, upset, boohooing and crying. Oh, I lost my dog. Oh, I lost my house. Oh, I lost my job. Oh, you know, 
But you didn't do that. You didn't do that. You kept getting up and going, baby, which is, that's part of the human experience and life experience. You've got to get up and keep going because if you don't, they win. They win if you, um, if you give up. And that's just the truth. But you did. You kept going. And now they see you happy. They see you happy and it pisses them off. The Gossip Gale or the Gossip Gary. Gossip Gales or Gossip Gary's. For some, I feel it's one. For some, I feel it's several. Um, um, but they secretly want to be. God, they were all about making fun of your ass in the past or making fun of you now. But, oh, they see you happy now. God forbid. You know what I'm saying? So they see you happy now. Happiness. Your happiness. This is your energy. And I heard it pisses them off. It pisses them off. Well, they need to reevaluate and self-reflect inside themselves why it pisses them off to see you happy. Because we all, as a collective and a world and society, should want to see everybody happy. And that's just the truth. That's the truth. Let's pull one more. This is good, baby. Double confirmation, happiness. Spirit message is you. Okay. Chaos. I heard take it. Family reverse. Ooh. Number 51 or 42 could be very significant numbers in one's life. Number 51 or 42. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. 51 or 42. We have chaos, upright, and family reversed. With enlightenment, upright, or take it, number 19 could also be very significant number of one's life. Number 19 as well. And trust reversed too. Number 9 could be very significant number of one's life. Number 9. Oh, whoa. Tower moment, baby. Tower moment. Hold on. Hold on a second, you guys. They created chaos in your in your life in the past. Now they're getting chaos. And some are about to get chaos. For some, it's members of your family. For some, it was members of your work family in the past. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. Okay, so they created chaos for um, you in the past, intentionally. Um, intentionally created chaos for you. For some, it's members of your own family. So um, I feel in biological or um, or foster family, how that resonates, okay? Bloodline or not bloodline. Um, and for some, it was um, members of your um, work family in the past. Um, so former co-worker energy. Um, and I'm assuming that's why it's family reversed because whoever this is for, if this resonates for you, I don't feel you communicate with ex coworkers or ex work family or the family members. Uh, I think they're estranged family members because there's a reason they see you happy now and they're pissed. Whether they gossip gailed or gossip garyed about you in the past or they are now. Um, but all the while they secretly want to be. Sounds like, um, some therapy sessions, if you ask me. And I'm just being for real. I mean, I'm not judging anybody. It's not my place to judge anybody on here. But damn, um, I wish goodness upon everybody. And that's just the truth. I wish happiness, love, light, and blessings upon everybody. And that's just the truth. Um, because that's the way we should be as a collective in a world. Um, I've had some people treat me some really shitty in the past. Really shitty. But what can you do about it except move on? And that's just the truth. But I heard um, they created chaos for you intentionally in the past, but now they're, they either already have chaos in their life or they're about to have it in their life. For some of you guys, it was ex-work family, ex-co-workers. For some, it was um, actual family, whether it was bloodline 
or not bloodline, foster or um, or um, real family, how that resonates, okay? For one, your sister, for one, your mother is about to be in for it in a very negative way. Huge liars here. Huge. For one, your aunt. Heavy feminine energy. Oh, my God. For one, your mother, for one, your aunt, and for one, your um, sister is about to be in for it in a, for a huge negative way. So, huge negative power moments, chaos energy, because they're a huge liar. So whoever, um, for some, I feel it could be one, for some, it could be two or two plus. I heard mother, aunt, and sister. Um, it can be a biological mother or a, a foster mother. Like, you know, I have a foster monster and that's just the truth. Um, however that resonates and applies, okay? Or um, a sister, biological or foster, or somebody you call a sister or what have you, what have you. For some, aunt, biological or foster, or somebody you call an aunt. How that resonates in applause, okay? Mother, sister, aunt. Um, they're about to be in for huge chaos. Um, and for some, a former boss. A feminine energy. And for some, a former boss, a fem energy. And for some, a former boss, a fem energy. So for some of you guys, it's a mother. For some, it's aunt. For some, it's sister. Biological or foster. And for some, it's a former boss. They're all fem energies. So um, chaos here. Um, whether it was your ex work family or your, um, family, false star biological enlightenment. I feel for some, you might learn about this. Let's see if we hear anything. They gossiped about you so bad, said you took medication from mental health, said you had mental health issues and you do not. And you never have. That lie is about to backfire in a huge ass way. And other lies. Okay. Oh my God. So for some of you guys, this former boss, the aunt, sister, or mother um, said you had severe mental health issues and you took mental health medication for mental health treatment, uh, mental health diagnosis or diagnoses. But I heard you've never, you don't have mental health issues and you don't take mental health medication. Um, how that resonates and applies. Now, I don't judge people that take mental health medication. Um, if you do, you do. But whoever this is for, you don't. You don't. You don't take mental health medication. And I heard you never have. Um, and you don't have mental health issues. And you never have. Now, if you do have mental health issues, I don't judge people that do. But whoever this is for, that's not the case. Okay. Um, but I heard that lie is going to backfire and um, many other lies that they told on you, ma um, sir or ma'am. You can be a masculine or feminine, I'm feeling. You plug it in how it resonates. Enlightenment of the lies of your family and the former femme boss, because these are femme energies, femme energy strong here, um, that lied on you. Um, and for some, it's co-working, um, not co-working, boss situations, um, ex-work family, work related situations and um and things of that nature so i'm feeling um probably possibly defamation of character energy possibly possibly but you plug it in how it resonates okay i mean like i said we're i'm done i'm done with the reading and click off but i just want to say okay if you have a mental the important part is if you have mental health issues is getting treatment for it it's getting treatment for it. Now, I personally don't have any mental health diagnoses or mental health issues, or I personally don't take medication for mental health. I don't take medication for anything, medical or mental health for me personally. I can only speak on myself, not anybody else. But whoever this is for, they're claiming that you have mental health issues and you take mental health medication and whatever, whatever. But if you do take mental health medication, at least you went to go get some help. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
I don't know, man. It sounds like a bunch of go it sounds like a bunch of gossip, Gary's and Betty's. Um, why don't they just quit focusing on your life and whatever the hell they're speaking about you is not even the truth, anyways. It's not even the truth, anyways. Um, and why did they even stick their hand in your lane, anyways? They should stay in their lane, and that's just the truth. But I heard the lies are about to backfire, and many other lies are about to backfire too. The chaos coming for them. But that's the thing. They should have kept stayed in their lane and quit venturing into your lane. Huge positive things are about to happen for you. Huge positive things. These people are so bitter and so jealous. Huge positive things are about to happen for you. Huge positive things. These people are so bitter and so jealous. So you plug it in how it resonates, sir, ma'am, whoever this is for, divine masculine, divine family, okay? Your former work family or your former BIM boss, specifically, or your former, or your aunt, sister, or, um, <clears throat> excuse me, aunt, sister, or um, a mother is very jealous, very bitter and jealous, and apparently very spiteful with a bunch of gossip and lies and shit. Um, but it sounds like it's backfired on them. It's going to continue to backfire. But whoever this is for, Divine Masculine, Divine Femme, you just keep moving forward. You keep moving forward and keep doing you, honey boo boo, in a positive manner because you can't control what other people say, but you can control what you do. You can control your actions and how you handle situation or situations, okay? So don't worry about all the, the crazy crap. You just keep moving forward, okay? Um, I heard huge positive things are coming for you. So you just keep staying in your lane and keep doing you because you can't control the, sounds like diarrhea of the mouth here, um, of um, your, your toxic family or your toxic ex work family, specifically a feminine boss. Um, and it sounds like it was all out of jealousy and bitterness and hatred towards you. Now, why they're so jealous and have so much bitter and bitterness and hatred towards you, I have no idea. But um, I would just keep moving forward and keep being happy because I heard you're happy. You're happy. It pisses them off, but you're happy. And good that you're happy because hopefully they, I mean, of course, they have the free will to go get therapy if they want. But my God, if they're this unhappy, that's why those kind of things are there. When you are, you know, to to get healing and love and light. I mean, if you feel, I just don't understand why someone would harbor this much jealousy, bitterness, and hatred towards somebody is what I'm trying to say. Um, I don't understand it. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste.